Hi guys, welcome back to The Crafty Home. Today I'm going to show you how I made a handbag organizer for my new purse. I got a new handbag for Christmas and I absolutely love it. It is a slouchy style over the shoulder handbag. Um, the only thing is that my stuff just is loose inside the purse, which is not a, a big deal, but I do like to be able to find my stuff very easily if I'm just reaching in. Um, so I thought a handbag organizer would be a good idea. I searched for them online and they're kind of pricey. So I thought I would just give it a try and see if I could make my own. So that is what I'm doing today. Uh, the dimensions for it is for my specific handbag, which is five inches wide by 10 inches long. Uh, but I think that that's a fairly universal size for handbags. So, um, so you should be able to recreate this for one of yours, or if you want to change the dimensions, this can be completely customized. Um, so I'll just show you how I add certain pockets. I did do the pockets specific to what I keep in my handbag. So if you wanted more or less pockets, you could do that as well. So I'm just going to show you how I did it. The other thing is I will show you how to sew it, but if you are not a sewer and you do not, or you just don't want to sew, instead of using a sewing machine, you can actually use hot glue on the seams. It will be quicker and it'll be just as strong for the most part. So that is an option if you are not a sewer, but I will share with you the pattern that I made and how I put it together. So with that being said, let's get started. Before we get started, I just want to show you what we're doing in a picture. That way you'll be able to kind of visualize it better. So we're basically making a T. Let me explain the lines first. The red lines is the cut lines that you will actually cut out of the pattern. These green dash lines are the seam allowances. So when you, when you sew and when you do seams, you usually want to allot for a quarter inch seam. That is what this is showing you. And then these purple wide dashes are where the fabric will actually bend. So if you can picture this, um, we're cutting 20 and one half inches long, and then we're going to come up and the half inch accounts for two quarter inch seam allowances. So it's really the end result will be a 20 inch section. And this is a side section. It will be five inches wide, which is what I was talking about before. This will be five inches wide. And then this will be the length of the bag, which will be 10. So five, 10, and five. And then your quarter inch seam allowances gives you 20 and one half inches. But I just wanted you to get an idea of how this is going to look as we work with it. This is one length of the handbag organizer. This will be the bottom of the handbag organizer and this will be the second length. So this will fold up like this. This will fold up like this and then these will come into the side. So I hope that that gives you a better idea of what we're doing. Since the inside of my handbag is red, I bought red felt from the fabric store. I got a half of a yard total, but I will need only a portion of this to do this. The first thing I'm going to do is measure out the 20 and one half inches, and I'm using chalk to mark the lines because you can easily wipe it away if you make a mistake and when the project is finished. And then I'm measuring all the way up the piece of fabric so that I can keep my line straight when I cut it. After turning the fabric 90 degrees, I'm measuring out 17 inches, which is the next dimension. Again, I will mark this all the way up the fabric so that I can keep my line straight when I cut.
you should now have a piece of felt that is 20 and 1 half inches by 17 inches. Next, I'm going to measure out the sides of the handbag organizer. This measurement is six and one quarter inches. Please ignore the measurements going down. Uh, that was a mistake, but you'll see me erase those in a minute. On the other side, I'm going to make the same measurement of six and one quarter inches from the bottom. This is why chalk is a great tool to use when sewing. I did need that measurement, but I just went the wrong direction. So. From the sides, I'm going to measure five and one quarter inch in. Now you should be able to see the T starting to take form like the picture I showed you at the beginning. Cut along the dotted lines and save these rectangles that you cut out. We will use those for the inside of the organizer to make pockets in just a little bit. Okay, so now we are left with our T. Our first step is to take one inch of the fabric and bend it in, and then we're going to pin it. This will end up being our finished edge of the top of the handbag organizer. And you will do this at both the bottom of the T on the fabric and the top of the T on the fabric. Here I'm just double checking that it is an inch folded down all the way across. I do eyeball these measurements myself just because I do so much measuring when I craft that I have a very good idea of what an inch would look like, but you might need to actually measure that out first before you pin it. Where we are pinning here will be our first sewing line when we do go to sew. For now, I'm just measuring to make sure that the sizes are right. I should be left with five and a quarter inches once I bend in the one inch. Now I'm going to take and mark a quarter inch from this edge here and that I'm just going to cut so that there is a spot where the seam can be made. Next, we are going to work on our first inside pocket. So grab one of those rectangles that you cut out of the initial T, and we are going to measure this to be 10 inches by five inches.
Our pocket will be going on the inside of the organizer, but you could make two of these and put one on the inside and outside, or you could just do it on the outside like I showed right there. Next, we're gonna grab the second rectangle that we cut from my, our initial T, and we are going to cut this to seven and a half by four inches. Now that all the pieces are cut for our handbag organizer, we're gonna go ahead and sew the top edge of our handbag organizer. So this is where you've already pinned, you folded the fabric in one inch on both the top and the bottom of the tee, and we are just going to run a line with stitching down both of these edges. If you're using hot glue, you want to hot glue this at this time. Okay, so now we are going to work on adding our pockets to our handbag organizer. So grab the piece that you cut that was five by 10 inches, and we are going to measure to the middle of this pocket. So it should be 10 inches long, so you wanna measure in five inches. And we are going to pin that to the bottom of the T. You will sew along this pin line in the middle and then you will also sew the edges of this rectangle from the sides and bottom, just not the top. Next, we're gonna make the markings on the smaller pocket that we are adding. This should be seven and a half inches long by four inches, and you want to mark it in the middle on this one also. So half of seven and a half will be three and three quarters. So go ahead and mark that as your middle line. This next part might seem a little confusing, but bear with me. Hopefully it'll make sense in the end. So we are going to make measurements down the length of this. From one side, it'll be one quarter inch, then a one inch mark, a one and a half inch mark, a one inch mark, and then you should meet the middle line that you just made. From that middle line, you will go another one inch, one and a half inch, one inch, and a quarter. So you will end up with seven markings on this. You already made the first one in the middle. You can measure from the middle like I am here, and it's the same thing, I'm just measuring one inch out from the middle, then one and a half inch, one inch, and a quarter inch. And the quarter inch is the seam allowance. Again, this will make a lot more sense a little bit later, but just follow along with me here and you'll see what the pocket becomes. Okay, now we are going to fold the fabric on a couple of the lines that we just made. So you are going to fold it on every line you made except for the very edge lines, which are a quarter inch in from the edge, and you are not gonna fold it on the middle line. So there will be four lines that you will bend and pin.
Okay, now we are going to sew our first pocket. This is the one that is five by 10. We're gonna sew it down the middle first. Next, we're going to sew the sides and the bottom of this pocket. We have officially sewn two of our pockets. Now we are going to move on to our smaller pocket. So you should have the smaller piece of fabric with four pins in it. And where you have folded each fabric and pinned, you are going to run a stitch along it as close to the fold as possible. If you're using hot glue to make this, you would want to run a line of glue on the back of the fold and just pinch it together to create that same seam. Now working with the top part of the T, we are going to attach our smaller pocket. So this width here should be five and a quarter and the halfway mark should be two and five eighths. I think I ended up measuring two and a half inches just because it's not actually going to matter if it's perfectly centered once it's in. Just find the center or about the center of that part and you are going to pin the center of your small po pocket, which you have marked in chalk, to the center that you just measured. Be sure to remember to leave the quarter inch seam allowance at the bottom of your pocket. Now you can go ahead and sew that center line in. Now you should be able to see the pockets starting to be formed. So these will actually be little pockets that could hold things like lip gloss, pins, anything kind of that size. So the next thing we're going to do is pin in our quarter inch seam on both sides of the pockets. So you should have a quarter inch mark from each edge of this pocket and you wanna pin that to the fabric below.
Now you can sew where you just pinned. So that completes our next two pockets. Next thing is turning this organizer into an actual bag. So we are going to attach the side seam to the bottom. Of course, I realized afterwards that it would have been a little easier to flip the bag inside out to pin it. You'll see that later when once it's pinned, but that's okay, live and learn. This is what I should have done to pin it together, but hopefully you won't make the same mistake I did. Let's go ahead and sew those two seams. Okay, we are coming to the last step. So you should have two open edges now. You wanna go ahead and have those edges meet each other and go ahead and pin those and sew them. These are the last two corners of your bag. Now it's time to flip your bag inside out. Once my bag was right side out, I decided it needed a little bit more structure. So I'm just taking and making a seam in the corner of the two unfinished corners, just like we did on our smaller pocket. So I'm going to fold this and pin it and then run a seam along the fold.
And here's our completed handbag organizer. I really love the way this came out. The only thing I will change in the future when I make one of these is to get a thicker felt. So I used a, just a regular felt from the fabric store. There must be some sort of craft felt that is thicker. I'm going to look into that and when I find out what kind it is, I will post it in the description box below. Here's the new handbag I got for Christmas. So I'm going to try it out, put in my handbag organizer, and then load all my things in it. As you can see, I left this big open spot for my wallet, and then I have a small cosmetic bag that I like to keep, and my sunglasses. I did not do individual pockets for these because these are things I grab for the most. One of these back pockets I have for my keys, and then the two smaller pockets I have for pens and lip glosses. The pocket that's left over will be for my phone. Okay guys, that was how I made my new handbag organizer. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this from me. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.